Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes. Here to give you your reading. Yes, yes. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Okay. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. And somebody lying. I'm telling you that now too, okay? But please don't curse me in the comments, all right? Scorpio, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. I thank you for like, share, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. You're going to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. There's no gender here, only energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Somebody is lying their ass off, and I smell it. I smell it like I know my name. Left ear itching. You know it, too. Somebody talking about you. This is a mess. What are you talking about? Scorpio, first of all, I pulled Oracle of the Seven Energies for you. And, and, and the call, uh, I was led to pull this deck. I've never actually used it. It's going to be my first time using it with you. So I had to uh, clean it before I, you know, it's my own little process anyway. Um, but yeah. Mm. This is a mess, Okay. Um, great and full is knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing when enough is enough. W knowing when enough is enough, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you have a tall tail because somebody lying they behind off. They bearing fruit is right under that. I, I love that because it's not going to stop your growth. It's not going to stunt your growth. It's not going to stop your blessings. It's not going to stop you, you know, in no way, shape or form. Um, you are still producing, okay? You are still flourishing. Earth magic right under that because you stayed 10 toes down. I like that. I like that. I want to know who's lying. I want to know what's going on. And I'm excited to use this deck. This is uh, the new world of tarot, okay? The new world of tarot. Center energy, please, for Scorpio. Ooh, we're not doing that. Nope, nope, nope. Hold on, y'all. Relax. Ooh, Scorpio, hold on. Maybe it's me. I done did a couple of readings. Maybe I just need to moisturize a little bit. I apologize. Center energy, please. Scorpio. to me. Y'all ask for this debt. Oh, okay. Hmm. Seven of Cups. Three of Swords. I'm sorry, four of Swords. But it looks like a three. Queen of Pentacles. Mm-mm. Let's talk. Number one, um, the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you know, is a queen of foundation. She's a queen of security. She's a planner. She's a saver. Uh, she's very grounded, rooted, wife material, okay? Um, this is a picture of a Three of Swords. I know you see it just like I do, okay? Let me show it to you a little closer. But you can also see the four here at the bottom of, of the cards. So this is a four of swords. Now with the four of swords, we're talking about contemplation about, it looks like, a, but to be honest, 
you know, I have a broken heart here. I have confusion about uh, whether or not somebody is going to commit. I ain't gonna lie. Um, the false energy is still present with this queen and she's not normally known to lie. Okay. However, this may represent a lie about her or she was just falsely representing herself as a queen. You know what I mean? Cram this energy for Scorpio. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Five of Cups. We got some shoulda, woulda, couldas here. That makes sense. Somebody is lying. It's a false representation here. Um, I'm, I'm, they're, they're acting like they're laid back, chill together with things, you know, that they're uh, a planner, that they want a future, that, and they're not, they're not none of these things. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, with the crowning energy of being five of cups, you know, that shoulda, woulda, coulda energy, uh, if you turn around, you'll see um, other opportunities, other opportunities. You, it's not like you don't have to, you don't have to settle in no way, shape or form. What's undermining um, Scorpio right now? Thank you. Hmm. We have a nine of swords here. What's undermining you is anxiety, fear, depression, headaches, sleepless nights, worry, doubt. Pick one. It don't matter to me. That's what's undermining you. It's in the way. Basically, your own mind. You know what I mean? Basically, your own mind. It's almost as if, like, I'm hearing, how can I fall for this again? How did I fall for this again? You know? What's the uh, past energy? Thank you. <sighs> Five of Swords. All these damn... It, it is a lot heavy emphasis on air. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy you might be connected to. But the Five of Swords, it represents... Um, conflict, you know, arguing, tit for tat, you know, I win, you win, no, you win, I win, that, 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 that. it's very immature, it's childish, um, I don't like this Scorpio at all, future energy is showing a page of wands, I'll take it, let's start this thing from scratch, from scratch, a page of wands represents new energy coming in or uh, you starting a new path, new creativity, new inspiration, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, and a page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, new uh, financing, new job, new career path, things like that. I love that for you because this is a mess. All right. I'm glad that it's coming to the surface. I'm glad that you're finding out about it. I'm sorry that it's going to maybe hurt a little bit, but you needed to know because you deserve this new beginning. And I think you should embrace it and um, take advantage of what God has for you because the beginning is not always a bad place. You might see it as a bad place because the Seven of Pentacles is right here. You might not want to start over again. You know what? But if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. At least you can start with something stable. Six of Cups here. You know what I mean? Something that's really for you. Something that's um, emotionally balanced. All right? Eight of Pentacles here. It's going to take some work. Because you've been betrayed, Ten of Swords. But you deserve somebody that deserves you. Two of Cups, you know? And the Tower is right under that. That's you. Great things are coming. You might have to start over. I would do it. I would do it. I would do it. I ain't gonna lie. I would do it. Your fruit is still, the tree is still good. You know, you can still eat. Know your worth. And... If you can help it, don't try to keep pouring into a cup that's already full. You know what I'm saying? 
if it's done, if it's full, then, you know, it is what it is. Either you have to release some things so that you can continue pouring, but if they're not willing to release, then um, you have to get a new cup because you're a giver of emotion. You're a water sign. You know what I mean? So you pour, you pour and you pour and you pour. And if somebody is full of foolishness, it's just, you know, love wasted and you deserve better. Let me clarify this. Hold on, I want um, author. I like these cards though. Y'all made a good choice. start with the five of swords past energy for Scorpio please clarify thank you five of swords is clarified with the five of pentacles this is some bull fragonacle here I mean some bull fragonacle from bull fragonacle Scorpio I'm so glad the past is in the past the present um the present energy is still showing, you know, some remnants of this. Obviously, we got some heartache. We got some shoulda, woulda, coulda. We got the seven of cups uh, giving you confusion. And there's a lot of doubt. But I think this is coming to an end. I, I'd love to see a ten of swords right now, you know, to be honest, so that we can just get it done and over with. Uh, current energy, please. For Scorpio, the current energy, please clarify. Thank you. Strength, will, drive, determination, ambition, fearlessness. See, come on, Leo energy. You know the Empress is there with her abundance and grace, um, her intuitiveness and confidence. All of these things coming in to assist you with this transition because you're starting fresh, you know? You're starting fresh. And some of you are fighting against it, to be honest. That's the bottom line. Tell me about the Five of Cups that's crowned. Oh, okay, and we have a King of Cups. <laughs> uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy, emotional maturity, you know, emotional control. Um, there may be some regret of, you know, maybe you should have, saying I should have held back a little longer. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I should have hold, held on a little tighter. You know, I should have thought about it a little longer. Whatever the case was, it is what it is now. You're still the ish. You're still the ish. Let me get one on that King the moon and the knight of swords uh piscean energy scorpion energy with the moon here i think that you know that um a, a conversation needs to take place okay and <clears throat> some realizations i mean just put it on the table i would just put it all on the table and when it's on the table look at it fully look at the big picture and make your decision but don't uh, dwell too long because that's working against you. This nine of swords here is working against you. Dwelling on um, worry, you know what I'm saying? Or just dwelling, period. That You know, you're allowed to go here as far as feeling sad or having the regrets or worrying about, you're allowed to do those things, you're human. Just try not to stay in that energy for too long, okay? Uh, tell me about the Nine of Swords undermining uh, Scorpio. Clarify the Nine of Swords undermining Scorpio. Thank you. And we have a Two of Swords here, see? Yeah. You don't really want to get in a page of wands. You don't want to, again, start over. I've said it before. I'm saying it again. A lot of you don't want to do that. You don't want to face this new beginning, this new start, starting over. You don't want to do that. You do not, absolutely do not want to do that. I hear you. However, it's on the table, okay? A new start, a new beginning, um is on the table and you're covering your eyes here with this two of swords energy because you don't want to face it as even being an option like it's almost as if you're saying that's not even an option you know what i mean but it is you're at a crossroads right now tell me about the page of wands for future energy page of wands for future energy for scorpio 
Three of Swords. Three of Swords. It's like, you know, your new beginning, you can leave this Three of Swords behind. You can leave this broken heart, this battered heart, this bruised heart. You can get away from this. You can, if you want to. You know what I mean? Tell me more. Future Energy, Page of Wands, Three of Swords. Okay, thank you. And there's, it's all you, it's your choice. This is the Two of Wands. It's your choice. If you choose to, you can walk away. If you choose the path, you can walk away. You can. But the choice is going to be yours, my love. Okay? Nine of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Um, Nine of Wands energy is an energy that, uh, of someone that has been through a battle. Okay? Um, and they reach a point that they're, still some fight in them because they feel that they have to protect something. Their boundaries are, are in place, okay? Um, either their peace, their finances, their home, their reputation, pick one. You know, don't matter to me. But the Nine of Wands energy, again, is still what, but they're, they've been through some things, okay? So when you choose something, stand on it and stand for it and make sure it's for you because the Wheel of Fortune is right behind that, my love, for to work in your favor. You have great things coming. Look at the Ten of Cups. What, uh, uh, come on. Seriously? Look at this. With the Six of Cups. I know you don't want to start over. I know that. I, I swear I hear you saying it. But when I tell you that your um, next cycle is absolutely beautiful, happiness, joy, fulfillment coming in for you, if you are willing, if you are willing, okay, because you're definitely able, but you have to be willing. And I hope this helps. All right, guys. All right. Um, if any event, none of this resonates for you, Scorpio, it's okay. Check out your moon and rising. Don't take this energy with you, please. Leave it here for someone else. Guys, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so that you're notified of future readings. And remember that we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.